Don't you hate when this happens? Don't you hate when you're at home, just sitting there, enjoying yourself in your restroom, right? Halfway through, you look to the left and there's no toilet paper. Right, so then you get down and you squat over to the sink. I mean, that sounded like 12 of you laughing. What do the rest of you do? The rest of you just get up like, oh well, and you go on, no. Don't lie to me, I'm not lying to you. We all do the same thing. You just squat over to the sink. Right, you look underneath there, there's none there, so you go over to the kitchen, right? <laughs> to look for paper towels and napkins, there's none there, so you go over to Walgreens. Isn't that the worst? <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> you just gotta have fun in life, that's what I'm about, right? Life is beautiful, isn't it? Okay, two people. <laughs> I'm enjoying it, man. You know, I'm enjoying life. I just turned 37, right? Yeah, still young, but there's signs. Yeah, it's happening. Like I got my first gray nose hair. That one's stubborn. It's deep in there. It's thick. I didn't know what to do with it. I colored it with a Sharpie. I'm a little dizzy right now. I tried to get it before the show with my man tweezers. Every man knows what I'm talking about, right? You ever reach deep in your nose for that root, hoping that, okay, he's done it obviously, right? It's okay, man, it's a manly thing to do, all right? You get back there and you just ka tear, you know what I'm saying? But it's one tear, like a man has one, full of testosterone, you know? Your ancestors are like, he did us proud. If you're lucky, you pull out four. You ever just pull out four? Do you ever show it to her? Look, babe, look at this. <laughs> Get that away from me. That's disgusting. <laughs> all right. Thank you. That's light enough. You're good. <laughs> oh, man. I'm enjoying life, though, man, right? It's all about living life easy, isn't it? You know? You know what I like to do? I'll tell you guys this. I'm the type of person that if I know I'm not going to see any of you tomorrow, I'm going to wear the same clothes tomorrow. Anybody else like that? <laughs> Yeah, right? Because sometimes you're like, you know what? I only wore this for four hours, and it was mostly in air conditioning. Nobody really saw it. You know, I kept my arms up half of the time, right? Like, I got a little pile of clothes in the corner of my room that I call my wear again clothes. Anyone else got that pile? Yeah, outfits ready to go. Two actual dirty socks in the basket. I wore those three times. Was it done, right? This pile, going strong, quick sniff, pants with change in them, shirts, deodorant, already under the sleeve, prepped. You know what I'm talking about? It's 48 hour protection, I still got a full day. Just rub it like that, that's all you gotta do. And the crazy thing is that people think it's lazy to wear the same clothes. It's actually tougher, isn't it? Because you gotta avoid everywhere that you went the day before. Like, you just can't go to your favorite places. And if you see somebody from the day before, you have to have an excuse. You gotta be like, hey, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> just got out of jail. <laughs> That's my go-to excuse, just me, all right. <laughs> you gotta do little things like that to get out of stress, right? Here's a few tips, right? If you're ever having a bad day, this is what I've learned. All you gotta do is make somebody else's day worse. That's it. <laughs> That's it. I'm not talking about big things, right? Like, if you're ever having a bad day, do this. Go to a public restroom while someone's on the toilet and just scream, fire. <laughs> Instant day better, and it's harmless. Are you serious? They're just on the toilet, just like, no! You laugh for 20 seconds, you turn off the lights, you walk out. It's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> Some of you aren't with me, huh? All right. Some of you are evil like me, good. Because you understand, we love seeing people stuck in situations, don't we? Doesn't that make you feel a little good? Like one of the best feelings in the world is when you're driving on the highway and there's no traffic in front of you, everything's clear. But the other side of the highway, full of traffic. Isn't that the best feeling ever? Yeah! You love it, you feel like royalty, you're like, ah, peasants, you feel good! You even speed up just to taunt them. Look at this guy, speed up and slow down. I get in this lane, I get in that lane. And you know what's better than that feeling? When you get to the end of their traffic and you see all these cars zooming in like crazy and you're just like, you have no idea. <laughs> oh my God, once you get over that hill, it's gonna be terrible. <laughs> we love seeing people stuck in situations, right? Like everyone's done this. Everyone's gone shopping, right? You finished, you grab your bags, you start walking your car in the parking lot. And as you're walking your car in the parking lot, a car starts to follow you to figure out where you're parked. Have you had that moment? <laughs> Yeah, when they're right behind you, you can hear them. Do, 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 do. And what do we all do? Walk slower, don't we? Yeah, 
every single person in here takes their time. No, you're not rushing me. Uh uh. I'm gonna practice this dance move right now. We all walk slower. No one here is like, hold on, wait, beep, beep, here's my car, I'll get out, you get in. We all do the same thing. You walk really slow until you're halfway down the parking lot. Then you zigzag through a car, sorry. My car's three rows down, that's what you get for following me. Someone did it to me, I'm doing it to you. <laughs> oh. Hey, comedy kids. Did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? That's right, you can download it now and watch my entire special, and also special to the other comedians that have performed for Dry Bar Comedy. So go there, go check it out, and laugh yourself silly.